I was back on the treadmill after uh, six weeks of the high intensity training, um, going through the VO2 max test again. The treadmill protocol for the VO2 max test is a, it, it shows a linear relationship between the speed and the grade. So as the speed increases, so does the grade. And then when I pretty much reached my maximum where I just couldn't go anymore, uh, just stopped at that point and trying to measure what my VO2 max was uh, at the end of the program versus what it was at the start of the program and uh, also my maximum heart rate and my anaerobic threshold. You're kind of watching, at least for me, I was really watching my heart rate this time to see where I would be able to get it. Um, I was at 181, my max, the last time, and in training I had it up to about 184. Today I think I was at about 178. So that actually dropped down a little bit, which uh, um, is, is uh, sort of a good thing. His VO2 max went from 56 to 60 milliliters per minute per kilogram which is very good. That's about what we were looking for um, when we established his uh, baseline before we started the training. He came in very well trained and we improved it by the high intensity interval training. In order to really get those benefits in terms of boosting your VO2 max and, and the anaerobic threshold, I've got to do more speed work and do it harder. Um, the times that I've done interval work, I've done it at uh, less stressful pace, put it that way. I've gone out to see what I can do and I've tried to work myself, but nothing to the, to the uh, degree that I have in the intervals here. Um, I think there's real value what I, also in the plyometric training, the box jumps, uh, the things like that. I can tell that there's uh, more muscle tone in, in my legs and I think I'll, I'll be more efficient. It's, it's changed a little bit of a, my attitude about training. I had been a run comfortably kind of uh, athlete for a while. With, with you know, I got the results that I wanted, but you know, um, I think this will help me. And I think that one, one thing in particular, when there's only three minutes left to go in a race, I think I'm going to be pretty steady because I know I can go for three minutes. Being on a treadmill, it doesn't matter how hard you're working; it, you don't get to the finish line any faster. So in a race when I can pick up the pace, I'll at least get over the suffering a little bit quicker. So that'll be good.